So I would say, man, like a lot of advice I give on this kind of thing is like, don't don't just go cold turkey on something. You know what I mean? Um, especially if something's been working. The problem is they make you subscribe for 12 months. Yeah. Well, listen, man. If you're not feeling it, cut it off. There's plenty of business, man. You can stay as busy as you want to be, dude. If you're not busy, go talk to people and get some business drawn up. You know what I'm saying? Like as soon as you, you get busy, then you got to do deals, and then you don't. Then you're not busy again. It's like okay, cool. Pick up the phone and start calling people and get some business going. Like it's not. It's not like rocket science. You know, like if you're busy, great. If you're not, make calls. That's it. I, I, mean, I, I completely agree. I, I, I do. Like, um, I mean. For the amount of time that goes to the money I made from them, I don't think it's that much, but it's just not enough business. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's like it's not bad, but I just feel like you have to spend. I mean, I'd have to spend ten times as much money to make as much money as I want to make. You know through that platform and then it's like you know i don't think it would cost anywhere close to that if i stuck to the plan that you put in place it's what? just it's just one of those things that when that's been like my main source of income it's just a little nerve-wracking listen to me they, listen to me like you've heard my spill on the fact that everything works right Okay, now here's where here's where you win with realtor.com. Okay? Your growth comes from the relationships you build with the people that you sell to and come in contact with through realtor.com. Get it? Sure. So like so like you can't look at it as as a, as a, you know, you can't look at it as a single layer where just the leads coming in each year is going to produce that much money because of the leads I got. No. The leads you got last year, they're coming back to buy more from you and they're referring people to you. So it's a snowball. You see what I'm saying? I do, yeah. So 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 it does work, but you have to think long term. You have to you have to take my philosophy of relationship building and apply it to the buyer lead world. You see what I'm saying? And if you do that, and you think long term, you don't worry about the deal, you just concentrate on the people, you build the relationships, you help them buy and sell stuff, you can build your business that way, right? What, what it boils down to is the fact that everything does work if you have the right philosophy and work ethic. And, you know, it, it just depends on what you want to do because it all works. See what I'm saying? Sure. Sure. No, so, I do. so you have to make that decision, you know, like, do I want to continue doing this? Because I don't think it should be a decision based on the fact of, are you going to do business if you don't have them? Because, because you know, if you're not going to work and make calls and, and, you know, work your ass off, then you're not going to do business anyway, you know? So as long well, as you're... I think that's part of it. Yeah, no, and I agree. It's, you know, and I think part of it being nerve-wracking, but the other part I think would help me motivate me to, you know, stick to the plan if I knew there was no other source by line, you know, leads my direction. Right. Um, so, I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead. Overall, I, I, I think it's a far superior plan to what I have in place now. It's just one of those things that, like, it's, um, you know, $40,000 isn't that much money, but it's a lot better than those out, you know, so it's just, um, yeah, but this is the thing, dude. Because. The relationships you can build out of those people. It's not just 40000 man. It's 40000 Honestly, I've had them for probably four years now, and that's about all I ever get out of them. Like, it does, like of, of all of those leads that I've ever had come from there, I've been able to really, like, maybe four of those people have been return business, like most of them. Over how long? Four years. Okay, and how do you stay but in? Truly, they're not that many leads. I mean, they're, you know, I mean, in the area I live in, you know, I mean, to make $40,000, you're only talking about, like, Tom. Five, or, five or six closings. Tom, how do you stay in touch with your database? 
I don't. That's okay, true. okay. So how do you expect people to be repeat repeat business if you don't stay in touch with them? No, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's not the realtor.com, dude. That's you. You're not staying in touch with your database. Like if you if you would if you would do my plan of the weekly email to your entire database, then you will see huge results from repeat people and referrals. Okay. But when you don't stay in touch with people, how do you expect them to do business with you again? Right. I mean, you know, you're like, no, oh, I only got four no. people to come back. Well, I mean, I don't even know how you can say that. Seems how you're. I mean, that's actually pretty good. Seems how you don't stay in touch with them. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, yeah, come yeah, on, honestly, dude. Most people I have stayed in touch with only because throughout the transaction, we became literally more of friends than we did anything else. Okay, so you know okay, I mean? so take that in, take that into context. You, the people you stayed in touch with did business with you again. The people that you didn't stay in touch with didn't do business with you again. Right. So. I mean, it's the same philosophy, like you know. So, so the four, so the forty, the forty grand that you made, going back to my point, the forty grand that you made is not just forty grand. It's forty grand plus lifelong relationships with all those people, even the ones that you came in contact with that didn't buy anything. You know how many deals I do. You know how many deals I do with buyers who I show property to or didn't even show. I just talked to maybe five years ago and they inquired about doing something. Never did. Never heard back from them. They get the weekly email forever and then they call me five years later and say, "Hey, remember me?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "I'm ready." Cool. Let's go do something and they buy. You know how many deals I do like that? I'm sure a lot. Yeah, no, I, I believe it. I do because I know how things have happened. Just you know, like the easiest way for me to relate to that because I don't do what you do as far as you know, keeping in contact through like email or um, you know, like mailers or whatever. But it's like people that I know that I see that I talk to that. I don't talk to them about anything about real estate, but they're friends of mine, and they constantly send me business because, you know, like I have a relationship with them that is a friendship, and that's exactly what my relationships with my past clients need to be also. Yeah. But like, I'm not afraid to spend money to make money. You know, I've done other things other than real estate, you know, and, you know, you know, I mean, I spend that four hundred dollars a month on, you know, Realtor.com that I really don't think is worth the shit. But you know, a lot of that I think is, I don't think it's worth the shit because I don't have a good game plan to go with it. You know, right? So, um, but I never knew that. Like, I never thought about that until you said it. It's like, well, yeah, it makes complete sense. And I think that's the biggest issue in real estate is there's so much opportunity, but. Most people don't have any direction. Like they just don't know. Yeah. What, they want to do it. They just don't know what to do. And that's me. You know, I'm the same guy. I'm not. You know, the work ethic is. I don't lack work ethic. You know. I mean, you know, a client can get me on my computer working at 2 a.m. You know, every day. You know, it's. You know, I'm always. But it's just not knowing what I don't know. You know. And um, no, I think that's fantastic. I just hope. You know. I'm telling people don't, you know, just the commitment thing. I just feel like... That's true, man, but you can't really... There's always going to be people that aren't committed, and I can't really... I can't really... Like, spending the money helps focus me. Like, sure. Like, you know, like, I mean, I go to the gym every day, and, you know, but I belong to the gym for years to a gym that was 30 bucks a month. I didn't go every day. Yeah. When I joined a gym that was $150 a month, I started going every day because I saw that bill every month mm. leaving out the like $30 didn't bother me. $150 did. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, it just, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it just helps prioritize, I guess. You know, it's like, 
you know, it's like, you know, if you're spending the money, you know, it just puts it higher on your priority list and you stick to it, I guess. I don't know. That's just me. That's but, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. Well, that, what you're saying. that's what it's all about, man, is I want to, as I want to actually help people on a larger scale and this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep taking everything to another level. So, um, I appreciate your support and, uh, you know, just, just reach out to me, man. If you got any questions or need anything. Cool. No, I appreciate everything. And, um, are there any videos or audios where I can hear both sides of your conversation when you do calling? Yeah. The, uh, have you seen the ones where I make cold calls? Um, I don't think so. Can you, can I hear the, the, the person and you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got, I got, I, I got them on speakerphone. Okay. Yeah. There's Where two, there, in the video library. Okay. If you go to Zero to Diamond and log in and go to the video library yep. and scroll down, there's two videos of me making uh, calls. And you can hear, you can hear them and me and everything. Let me see here, so, okay, I don't think I've clicked on the library yet. Uh, I, do, I do have a question, so on the 30 day jumpstart, do you want to, do you want me to listen to those like, all at once or like each video once a week? Or? Whatever you want, whatever you want. I think they're an hour or two long a piece, so you know, you'd be doing good to listen to them. I've listened to the first two weeks and they're pretty close to like two hours. I don't know if the rest yeah. of them are. Yeah. I just didn't know if you What'd like you think? What'd you think that. about it? I think it's great. Yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. like I said, I think you know, I, I think there's tons of people that fail in this business and it has nothing to do I think there's a, a you know, I think probably half the people that fail got into it thinking it was way easier than it is. You know. Oh but yeah. I think the other half got into it and just didn't know which way to run with it and failed because they didn't have any direction with it. They just quit, man. Yeah. Like everything works. Everything, dude. Closings are happening every day, so it's not a problem with real estate. It's it's a problem with their mindset and the fact that they couldn't right. they couldn't figure out what worked for them. Everything works, but you got to figure out what works for you, and they couldn't f figure that out, so they quit too early. Right. Yeah, it's a tough business, man. I'm not gonna lie, but you know. Well, yeah, like I talk to people, like you know, clients. They're like, you know, you can go on vacation whenever you want, and I'm like, who are you talking to? Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> on fewer vacations since I've been in real estate than I ever have. Yeah, yeah. right, dude. Because yeah. I don't like telling my clients no. I never, I never go on vacation. Well, I don't. You know, it's like even in the winter, people are like, oh, well, business is slow. It's like. But it's not that slow, you know. It's like yeah, it's slower, but you know, no, the people that need you. The and I hate the uh, the the winter is is busy or busier for me than the summer. Yep. Oh, so. my January. This like two months ago. It was the best month I've had in my five years. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, obviously that's on the scale that I do business, but you know, I mean, I sold like a million and a half in January. That's pretty, Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, I would, you know, if I could sell that every month, you know, I would be extremely happy. You sure. Know? But, you know, you know, it's all about just, you know, for what I have in place, it's kicking ass. Yeah, know? yeah. But obviously, you know, there needs to be a better way, better thing to put in place. Um, well, man, I got a roll here. I got to pick up a client, but uh, definitely, dude, just keep crushing it and reach out with questions. I'll be on that live call today. You already know what it's about, so you know I'll just be uh, explaining to the people I haven't talked to yet what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And uh, you know, I'm just really, I'm really excited, man. I'm finally like really feel good. Like this is the first time I've really felt good about what I'm fixing to be doing in terms of the coaching world. And uh, I think it's really going to be the thing that puts me on on blast, man. Like take it to the whole the whole another level. Well, I think what you're doing is great, and um, I love everything. So um, I don't know if you get told that uh, as much as you should, but um, it's um, I don't know how you I don't know how you have time to do everything you're doing, but I greatly appreciate it. And I think no, it's going to be great. No problem, man. I appreciate that. Give me a shout anytime. Yeah, buddy, bye.